hey y'all and welcome to today's video we've got our morning started it was a cold well it's still cold outside it's finally gotten over 40 degrees and it's almost lunch time now but the morning started very chilly uh, I went out to make sure that the chickens water wasn't frozen had to bust up some ice and it this morning frost everywhere once the Sun came up that started melting though but it's still pretty chilly and we definitely had a cold start to the morning we've gotten school done and got some things marked off the list during the morning and now I think I'm gonna make a treat to go over here on a, on my cake stand I was originally gonna film this for a second video but then I was like you know what I think I'm just going to include it as part of my day today. So I'm going to make some hand pies and that's more of a, like a biscuit dough pie, not necessarily a pie crust type pie and you bake it in the oven. So I'm going to make some of those, maybe do a couple of different varieties. We'll just have to see once we get started. I had a little bit of sickness running through the house. Y'all have noticed that in a few of my more recent videos. My voice has been a little crackly. I haven't sounded like I felt very well. And it wasn't awful but we definitely have had about a sickness where we just didn't feel well and it's gone through a lot of us we seem to be on the other side of it and so i need to do like some some deep cleaning and cleaning stuff up and now that i'm just really feeling like it i want to get some treats over here for us i had mascara on my face if y'all remember, I cleaned, like I did a deep clean on my dishwasher in a video last week or told you what I was doing. Uh, y'all, I'm so glad I got that done. Just feel so much better to have things like that marked off my list. I mean, as I was starting the dishwasher, I was thinking about that, about how nice it is to just have that marked off my list. I did decide to go ahead and clean my stovetop really well before I started baking. Uh, I, I guess typically you would wait till you were done, but I just, I was looking at it and I thought I really want to get this cleaned up. And I love using this baking soda cream cleaner, cream cleaner from Mrs. Myers. I've used this stuff for years on my glass stove top and it does a really good job. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead, give it a good scrub, and then when I get done, I can just wipe it up. So, before we start baking, I'm going to clean my stove top really well. Christmas Day, the joyful times we witness forever stays with us. Soon Rudolph fears his wisdom and gathers all his friends. When Santa you can do all different kinds of fillings for these pies. You could use some jam, and that was what I was originally going to do. I was going to do some chocolate, some with jam. You could use a pie filling, but I decided, you know what, since I'm going to make this chocolate filling, and I'll have a good bit of it, I'm just going to do them all chocolate today. So I'm starting with a cup of sugar, and I'm putting in five tablespoons of flour. And y'all, I've even seen people do chocolate different ways, where they just take and put a little bit of butter, a little bit of cocoa powder, and a little bit of sugar inside the pie when they're making it. It makes more of like a gritty textured chocolate filling. This is just how I'm doing it today. It's more of a pudding-like consistency. That's two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Starting to mix those dry ingredients together. I'm also gonna add a sprinkling of salt to probably about half a teaspoon or so. And at this point, I don't have any heat on, on the stove top. Once I get my milk in, I'm gonna put two cups of milk. Then I'll swap over to my whisk and I'll turn the heat on on the stove, about medium high. And we're going to get this to a bowl. Once it starts to boil, it will thicken very quickly. And we can pull it off of the heat and add the last two ingredients.
Now that we have this off the heat, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Kind of mix that in until that butter is all melted. Then I'm going to move this over to a different bowl and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator until it's completely cooled. Now that my filling is chilled, I'm going to get my dough ready. This is the same that I use for my two ingredient biscuits, and that's two parts self-rising flour to one part heavy cream. The only thing I'm doing a little bit different is I'm adding a teaspoon of sugar for every cup of flour. So I'm using three cups of self-rising flour, three teaspoons of sugar, and a cup and a half of heavy cream. You'll see that I do add a little extra heavy cream because we're doing this off of volume and not weight. Sometimes you have to add a little more of this or a little more of that to get it where you want it, to get it to the consistency you want. So you'll see I add a little extra heavy cream. This is a dough that will still have a good bit of moisture to it, but you'll be able to work it pretty easily. It's not as dry or as stiff, I should say, as a pie dough but it's not going to just fall apart on you or stick all over your hands or all over your surface so i'm going to get all of this mixed together you don't want to over knead this kind of dough but you do want to form it together so that's what i'm going to do and then i'll put it out on to my floured surface i've also got a parchment lined baking sheet ready to go now I'm going to roll this out pretty thin. If I was making biscuits, I would only, I would just pat this out to about half an inch because I like a nice thick fluffy biscuit when I use this particular dough. But for these pies, we're going to roll it out to a quarter of an inch, maybe even thinner. And then I'm going to cut it into shapes for my pies. You can do whatever you want. You can do uh, you could use a cup and cut it out that way and make small fold over type pies or you could cut out two circles and get the filling and then stack them on top of each other to close it up um, you can use a plate like i'm doing here to make a bigger pie almost like what you would see for a fried pie you can do anything whatever you've got you can freehand it if you want to so for this one i use this plate and then I'm going to put some of my filling on one side of it. This dough has enough moisture in it that you usually don't have to add anything extra to get it to seal. But if you find that it's not wanting to, you can take a little water and go around the edge to help it seal. But usually with this dough, it's sticky enough, I guess, still, or has enough moisture in it that it will seal itself. You could use a fork to seal it. You can use your fingers to seal it. And then I'm just moving that over to my parchment line baking sheet. I had these cute little, what would you call these, pie makers. Um, so I decided I would use some of those. And all you do is put the dough in, put your filling, and then your other piece of dough, and then you can clamp it together. I had one that made a snowflake, a mitten, and a Christmas tree. And so I decided to use some of those as well. I was in a little bit of a hurry here because uh, we were headed to a basketball game and so I got, got a little quick with these. They still turned out fantastic, but I knew I wanted to get them in and out of the oven before we had to leave. When we get home, I do another batch. I'm going to show you some of those as well. I took my time on those a little bit more. It doesn't matter though. They were all delicious. This is so good especially if you can get you one when it's warm out of the oven oh y'all these are so good i am and you'll see here just pricking a little spot in the top so that 
it can expand and release the steam there instead of busting out the sides that just kind of helps protect your shape a little bit of your pie there's one of those mittens I'm taking and sprinkling just a little bit of sugar over these before I put them in the oven and I'm baking them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes and if you want them to be a little extra golden on top you can turn them on broil for about two minutes but y'all don't go off and leave them because they'll burn real quick here they are when they came out of the oven aren't they cute these would be so fun for these holiday get-togethers my fold over pie isn't the prettiest but it tasted delicious and let me tell you when we get home from this ball game i'm gonna show you one that looks a little better So here is some of the pies that I was working on when I got home. I just put my dough in the refrigerator and my filling in the refrigerator. And then when I got home, I just finished working on the rest of them. I did a whole nother batch in the oven. So to do this, you just take your fingers. You're going to put one finger on the bottom and two over the top to kind of wrap around that finger and mash the pie dough together. And this makes a real pretty ruffle. Now, because this is a dough that expands, that design doesn't stay perfect, but it does look nice. This is one here when they came out of the oven. Look how fluffy and delicious that dough is. It's nice and soft, and then you have that yummy chocolate filling. Come on. Look, <laughs> look at you. Good job, Fletch. It's the next morning, and yesterday so i probably told you this in a voiceover but that first batch of pies i had to get in and out of the oven pretty quick so we could head off to a basketball game and then when we got home i made another round of, or baked another round of pies i just put my extra dough and filling in the refrigerator that's absolutely something you could do with that make it put it in the refrigerator and then you can pull it out and bake it and so i did another batch after we got home everybody enjoyed those Y'all, Fletcher took his first steps. It's one of those things where you cut, kind of, like, you know it's coming, but it still feels really unexpected when it happens. And so I okay, grabbed the camera and got a little clip of that so that we would have it. And so I could share it with y'all. So Fletcher took his first steps. I know before long he'll be running all over the place. Just, I don't know, so special to see those little feet take those first steps by themselves. I didn't pick up the camera as much as I thought I would yesterday while I was like wiping doorknobs and light switches and all those kind of things. Just getting stuff cleaned up after sickness. I think today I'm going to pull sheets off the beds and wash all those. So that's my plan for the day. But I wanted to pick up the camera, talk to you for a second this morning. Share my excitement over Fletcher's first steps. Hope y'all enjoyed the little treat. Maybe you can add it to your holiday list of things. Maybe y'all, they're great year round and really easy so good especially if you can get them while they're warm or like heat one up real quick mm, they're so good y'all right, i'm gonna go ahead and close this one out i love you i appreciate you and i mean that with all my heart i'll see you in the next one bye y'all